Excuse me, but I have to get this done. You're playing a computer game. And you're still very, very rude, dude. You are still very, very rude. Steve's parcel, and another note from Tess. Hey Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon, Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. Uh -oh. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. I'm in trouble. Week. Ah, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I would like to ask you a few questions. I'm in trouble. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Um, yes, well, the gist of it. Can you remember the segment from Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph? I'm sorry, that part seems to have slipped my mind. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. Oh, okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here, but I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. No, of course. I mean, uh, yes, sir. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Okay. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? Yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? Yes. That will be all. Thank you for your Oh, it's Frank in trouble. It's Frank in trouble. What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry. We can't discuss personnel matters. Good luck with the mail today, Miss Weiss. I think I got Frank in trouble. Okay, so what what have we got? What have we got today? Okay, we need to go pick up that because I'll have to go around to do this stuff anyway. So I'm actually thinking if I go do these, then go do those, then like go around and do all that stuff. Then yeah, um, that's what we might do. I'm going to fast travel here. Yes, fast travel here. The perfect combo. P.O. Positive or Pet P. Take it away, Bert. Morning, JR. I'm afraid it's a pet P from me again. People who come camping here outside the season just bugger off already. <laughs> Loud and clear, Bert. Just like today's weather. We're starting the week sunny, but a few clouds will appear closer to the afternoon. Enjoy your day and the music. Like, I really thought it was me in trouble for, like, um, delivering stuff that shouldn't have been delivered and, like, cats and things. Okay, so we're going to collect the movie box from Bert and see whether he liked Jaws. Hi there, Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. I did. It took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Shark looked a bit fake, though. 
I saw it in the theater at the time. Pretty exciting. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. Okay, so we'll put it in the back of the van. Okay, so we have another delivery at the campsite that we're gonna go to. So it looks like the stoner hippies are gonna get some more rolling paper. Hello June, I have a letter for you. And some more rolling paper by the looks of things. Hi, sweet Meredith. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Did he have too much of the stuff that makes you feel funny? Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. I bet it was Bert. I have no idea how that happened. Oh, hold on, Mickey's got to read this. Mickey, wake up, honey. Leave me alone, I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. What about the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink. Maybe a puff or two, you know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome! I think I'll smoke, but... See you Wednesday after sundown. But a nice opportunity to, like, um, chat and stuff. Yeah, why not? Okay, so guy at the hotel, let's see if he's as rude to us this time as he was the last time we dropped the package off. Because he was very rude to us last time. Hello, sir? It's the mail. Excuse me, what's this all about? Oh, I thought I'd not bother you and just deliver the parcel. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. Okay, I'll take that into account for next time. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Oh, interesting. I work in computers, too. Delivering computers does not mean that you work in computers. No, this is just my temporary job. Yeah, this is temporary for me, too. Excuse me, but I have to get this done. You're playing a computer game. 
And you're still very, very rude, dude. You are still very, very rude. Because there's a letter around the corner here to deliver. So we're, we're going to go deliver that. And then there's... Oh, that, that'll be at Miss Jenkins' house, that other one. So I wonder how Mortimer's doing. Oh, no, it's not at Miss Jenkins house. It's, um, it, it's next door to, um, cause that's, cause that one right here is Miss Jenkins. Oh no, that one over there, that greenhouse there is Miss Jenkins. So it's not, um, it's not for her. So I'll drop off this letter first. Because we've got to go get the photos. So I might actually chuck a Yui here, actually. Oh, I think this is Kay's house. So we're going to pass off for Kay by the looks of things. It's heavier than I thought. I think this is Kay's house. I'm not, um, not a hundred percent, but. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. So, park in front of the general store. Let's see what these photos look like. I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Yeah, they look pretty cool. Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. Apparently, they're running a photography competition to promote the new photo labs. If you're interested in entering, you can pick out one of your pictures. Oh, that sounds like fun. I'd like to participate. Well, just pick one and submit it. 
but I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Um. I like that one. We'll go with that one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Put it in this envelope and write your name and address on the back. We'll see how we go. So we're gonna deliver this movie box back to Angie. I hope she's feeling better today. Cause she was, she was a bit rough when we saw her last time. Here's your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Apology? For what? I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. You deserve better. It's okay. No one can be perked up all the time. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean... The Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. Ouch. I can imagine that causes quite a bit of stress. I've had kind of a stressful job situation myself recently, so I can definitely relate. Really? How'd you deal with it? <laughs> I came here. Change of scenery, huh? Hmm. Anyway. Enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Ooh. Valid tonight only. Yes. Yeah. Movie date with, um, mo movie date with, um, cute movie store clerk? Yes. Wow, pretty cool perk. It is, isn't it? So what'll it be, Missy? You in or are you out? <laughs> I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> 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 anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> So we have a potential date with um, cute movie store clerk. So we've got one more letter to drop off and then Okay, so this is our last, um... I'm calling it a day. Okay, so, um, return to the post office. Oh, shit.
Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan, a higher up from the post service. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Oh, Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? Nothing, basically. That's my girl. They'll never catch Frank anyways. He's always one step ahead of them. Listen, Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Was Dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, Mom. Yep, he tried. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. <laughs> Have you met the new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. He's, uh, a unique character. Unique? <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean... Interesting, interesting, or just interesting? I think you could say interesting, interesting. <laughs> oh, honey, that's so nice to hear. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama Slammer. An Alabama Slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? <laughs> Alabama Slammers, cheers! <laughs> what is an Alabama Slammer? I know it's this is fun. It's been ages since I've been to Definitely some kind of like alcoholic well, drinks. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? You pick. You're the expert. That's exactly why I want you to choose the choice of innocent eyes. All right. Let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or The Great Mouse Detective. At least give me some guidance, though, like... What do you know about Big Trouble in Little China? It's supposed to be a pretty good ass-kicking. Most John Carpenter movies are pretty exciting, at least. He's the guy who made Halloween and The Thing. Nothing too deep, but should be entertaining. What's Blue Velvet about? Apparently it's noir, with a surrealist twist. I once saw a film by this director called Eraserhead, which was... well, weird. Unsettling, too. From what I've heard, this new one is quite... memorable, as well. Heard anything about The Great Mouse Detective? <laughs> Disney movie. Mouse Detective. What do you need? A road map? Alright, I'm ready to pick. Let's go to Disney movie. The Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> Wouldn't have picked you for a Disney fan. Oh well, let's get in touch with our inner child. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, but it's a mouse. <laughs> How do they come up with this stuff? I don't know, but I had a blast. Aw, that mouse detective really brought out your inner child. You ever thought about having children, by the way? Wow, you just come right out asking the tough questions, don't you? I don't think it's that tough a question, but then I guess I knew pretty early on that it wasn't going to be in the cards for me. So anyway, my parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. By process of elimination, I detect that we need to take a right here, dear Dawson. <sighs> I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. 
Next time we'll do something in your area of expertise. What, computer software? Yeah, we can build a killer robot or something. I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. So, here we are. Now what? Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. Yes, yes, we, we're going to kiss. my dear Angie. Ah, oh, we get to kiss the cute movie, movie store chick. Dumb things on street. So many dumb things on street. Dumb things on street.